object in javascript javascript object is a non primitive data type that allows you to store multiple collections of data let's see the syntax to declare an object we will use const keyword then object name so this is an object in this we can add the data in key value pair we will add key1 value1 one. we will add the comma to separate the data we will add another key key2 and value2 we can use the let keyword also to declare one object but it is good practice to use the const keyword let's see one example if i write the object name person and in this person object we will add the name of the person so first we will add first name and in the first name we will add elon add one comma then we will add the last name the value is musk and we will add one more information age so here we have created one object with the object name person in this object we have three properties now let's check the type of this person we will add console.log type of person now you can see in the console tab it is printing object so the type of the person is an object now if you want to print the complete object we will add console.log person in this console you can see it is printing the object that we have created it is printing age 35 first name and last name any object can store two things which is properties and methods in this person object data is stored in key value pairs first name is the key Elon is the value, age is key, 35 is value. These key value pairs are called properties. Key is always stored as a string. Here if I write this name in double quote, still it will be correct. You can see there is no error in the output. You can see it is displaying simply first name. So by default, it will store it as a string. In the value, we can add any data type. We can add a string, number, arrays, boolean, function, and we can store an object also. When we declare a function as a value in key value pair, then it is known as methods. Now let's learn how to access the properties of an object. We can access the values of a property by using its key name. So the first way of accessing the property is using dot notation. We can write object name dot key. So it will give the value stored in the key value pair of the object. Let's access the value stored in this person object. Here we have the console.log person. And if you want to access the name stored in the first name, so we will add person dot first name and we will check the console you can see it is printing elon so we can access the property using dot notation let's add the age here if you want to access the age object name and key so it is displaying the value in the console you can see it is printing 35 the second way of accessing the properties of an object is using bracket notation so in this example here we will remove this dot and add a square bracket and we will add this text in double quote as a string now you can see the console tab it is printing 35 so we can access the property by using bracket notation and in this bracket we have to add the key name with double quote or single quote let's add the first name so you can see the first name in the console Elon keys in object are stored as a string so we can add this 
key in double quote like this and we can add a space also. Here we are adding first space name like this. Now if you want to access the value stored in the first name, we will add console.log and object name and if you use dot here dot first name it will give an error we cannot access this property by using dot notation in this case we have to use the bracket notation only and in this bracket notation we will add the string in double quote or single quote then you can see it will display the name it is displaying the name alone in the console tab so the bracket notation is also useful to access the properties of an object now let's see how to update the properties of an object so we have this object person and in this one if i want to update the first name so the first name is elon and i want to change it so we can add the object name that is person and write the key that will be first name and we can assign a new value or a new data so here we will add mr elon mr elon so this line will update the first name in the object called person now you can see the output it is displaying mr elon because here we are printing person dot first name here we have declared one object with the person and here the first name is elon and in this line we are updating the first name with the new name which is mr elon and Mr. Elon is printed using this console.log. Next, we will learn how to add a new properties in the object. So here we have the object with three properties and now I want to add one more property. So for that we will add the object name. So the object name is person. Then we will add the key. So key is company. So this line will add a new property in the person object. Now if you want to display the object, just add console.log and object name. Now you can see the console tab, it is displaying the object with four properties, age, company, first name, last name. So we have added one new property company and it is displaying in this object. Next we will learn how to delete one property from the object. So let's use the same example and here we will add the delete keyword, delete, then write the object name and key. So let's delete the age. That's it. We are adding delete keyword, then object name and key. Now if you want to check, let's see the console tab. Here you can see it is displaying only three property which is company, first name and last name. Age property is missing because we have deleted age property from this object. This is how you can access the properties of an object. You can update the property, you can delete the property and you can add a new property. As I have already discussed in value we can store any type of data so we can store one object also that is nested object so let's take the same example in this one we will add one more property here we will add address and this address will contain another object that's it so we will add the data in key value pair in this example you can see we have an object called person and in this object we have three properties then we have added one more properties and this property is having one another object that is known as nested object and in this object also we have added the data in key value pairs you can see street city state country and zip code now to access the data stored in the nested object we can use the same dot notation let's add console.log write the first object name person and in this object we have the address we will add address and from the address we can access city now you can see the console tab it is printing austin now if you want to access zip code 
write person address zip code. Now you can see it is displaying zip code in this console. So this is how you can access the properties of the nested object. Now we will learn how to check if a property exists in an object. To check if a property exists in an object, you can use the in operator. We can write property name in object name. Here we have the person object. So let's see one example to check if the property exists in this person. We will add age in person. It returns true if the property exists in the object. So let's print this in console tab. We will add console.log. We have to add this age in quotes. Now you can see in the console it is printing true because age exists in this person. Now if you want to check first name exists or not. So here we will add first name in person. So it will display true because we have the first name in the person object. Now if you will add country, country in person. Now you can see it is displaying false because in this person object we don't have any property with the key name country. Now if you want to display all properties and values of an object without knowing the property name then you can use foreign loop. Foreign loop allows you to access each property and value of an object without knowing the specific name of the property. For example, we will add for and in this one we will add one variable. So let's declare one variable with the let keyword and we will add the variable name prop that is properties and prop in object name person. Now we can print this prop. So let's add console.log prop. In the console you can see it is printing first name, last name and age. Because in this person object we have three keys first name, last name and age. So using the for in loop you can access all properties of an object. Now if you want to access the values stored in this key we can use the bracket notation. As we have already discussed, to access the value we use the object name like person and bracket notation and in this one we will add the key. So let's add age so it will display the value. So here we will add the same thing. Let's add person square bracket and prop. So you can see the output in console tab it is displaying the values only the values are elon musk and 35 now if you want to display both key and value so let's add prop plus and here we will add colon now you can see the output in the console tab it is displaying both key and values stored in this person first name Elon last name Musk is 35. So using the for in loop you can access all the properties of an object. There are multiple ways to create an object in JavaScript. This was the example to create an object with object literal. Let's see another example where we will create an object with the new keyword. For that we will add const person new object so this is the another way to create an object if you want to add some data in this object we can add the object name and key and assign one value so it will add this data in this person object. Let's duplicate it and we will add another data. Last name, age,
Now, if you want to display this person object, just add console.log person. You can see in the console tab, it is displaying one object with the data, age, first name, last name. So you can see we have created one object with the new keyword and then we have added these data in this person object. We can add these data while creating an object also. Let's see. I will remove these things. Remove it from here and in this object, just add curly braces and within this curly braces, write the data in key value pair. And here it will be comma. Now it will create the same thing. You can see the output. It is same. Still it is displaying the object with three properties. First name, last name and age. So this was all about JavaScript object and their properties. In the next video, we will learn about JavaScript methods. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Great Stack to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.